Tiffany Remington was once awarded Teacher of the Year. She loved her job and did it well for almost a decade. But last year, Remington left her teaching post in Florida and moved back home to Tunkhannock to work for an insurance company. It got to be too much. Um, after COVID, they expected a lot more of teachers. And um, in Florida, they don't pay very well. Um, I wasn't able to support myself at all. It just wasn't enough to survive. It's a familiar refrain, and it's why people are leaving the education field in droves. Riverside School District Superintendent Paul Brennan says the number of applicants for all positions has dropped off dramatically over the last five to ten years. Kids aren't as concerned about some of the traditional benefits that used to be enticing for people to get into education. In the Old Forge School District, the teacher roster was full up until last week. Superintendent Dr. Erin Keating says one of her teachers resigned on Monday and now she's rushing to hire someone new. At a time when substitute teachers are in severely short supply, even losing just one full-timer can pose a major problem. This is the worst that I've ever seen it. Um, and in talking to colleagues uh, locally, this is this is the time where, you know, superintendent to superintendent, you're getting text messages or emails. Hey, I still have an opening in this. Does anyone know anyone? Um, and that's a little unheard of, um, again, for our area. Creativity is the name of the game this school year, including in the Hanover Area School District. Even parents that want to apply for these positions to go to school with their child and then leave with them, okay. you know, they get paid while, while, while they're there with their children. You know, there's areas where administration goes into classrooms and we use everybody that we can. Um, we have people in the building in other positions who hold four-year college degrees and they have emergency certs. My business manager has an emergency cert and if need be, he'll be in a classroom as a substitute teacher one day. Both Hanover Area and the Riverside School District hired private recruiting companies to find subs for this school year. A short-term solution for what they view as a long-term problem. Education needs a comeback. And if we don't address these problems now, the kids are going to suffer. It's why Tiffany Remington has considered homeschooling her son. I have talked to like friends who have watched things in schools and we have both been like, okay, yeah, this kind of makes me not want to have my kid in public school just because of everything that's going on. And one area of concern for the superintendents and parents with recent proposed and passed legislation that makes it easier for full time and substitute teachers to get certified in Pennsylvania. The superintendents we talked to all agree that even if we're desperate, we should not lower the standards for our educators.